The greatest threat to your freedom right now, as you well know, we all know, is China. China's the threat. And anyone who pretends otherwise isn't simply clueless, they're an accomplice. Jason Whitlock is actually willing to speak his mind, so naturally he hosts FS1 Speak for Yourself, which he does. He joins us. Thanks so much for coming on. The, the NBA had this stumble a couple of days ago at the beginning of this story, the this, this story about China, and you thought maybe they would recover and, and do the obvious, really the only thing, which is to take the side of America, but they still haven't. Why? Tucker, I really want to put you and your audience on the cutting edge of this discussion. I, stick with me here. I'm going to try to yes. explain this. It's very simple, actually. Nike is in control of basketball, the NBA, college basketball, high school. Nike is the real person driving this conversation and this thing with China. If you go back to, and I'm going to connect it to politics, in 2015, in May of 2015, President Barack Obama went to Nike's headquarters in Portland, Oregon, yes. and announced his defense of the TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership. That's right. Trade deal that was going to be very favorable for Nike, for China. Who's the president that came after Obama and walked America away from the TPP? Donald Trump. Who is the shoe company that employs LeBron James, Colin Kaepernick, and these other athletes that smear Donald Trump as racist? Who are the people constantly criticizing Donald Trump? NBA, Steve Kerr, Greg Popovich. The NBA answers to Nike. Nike's a $40 billion business. The NBA is an $8 billion business. President Obama, the basketball president, friendly relationship with the NBA, went to Nike's headquarters to announce his defense of the TPP. This thing is very simple. This is about money. This is about a president that won't cooperate with what Nike wants done. Nike is using the NBA and its leverage over the NBA to go after this guy because they disagree with him about his policies as it relates to trade in China. That is a Very fascinating simple. that is a fascinating story. And and I guess it it, it makes you wonder if Nike's calling the sh I mean so no, the, the NBA is not basically you're saying an independent organization. I mean they're truly beholden the NBA to this one answers company. to Nike. The NBA answers to Nike. The basketball exists to sell shoes. Nike has, I think, 92, 93% of the basketball market in America. It owns American basketball. Nike is the real bully in the ring here. They are influencing American culture. They are addicted to the market in China. They have the relationships that can't be. They got 1.4 billion people over there that Nike needs to sell shoes to. Nike's use of Asian labor, inexpensive Asian labor, this has been documented for years. So, so, but why does, nobody say, why does nobody say this? I mean, I believe what you're saying because there's nobody, I, I mean, I'm just being honest, I trust oh, you can more look these questions up. than these you. These are facts. But, but, but why, when we discuss this, why are you one of the only people making this point? I mean, there are lots of people covering sports out there. Why does nobody say this? Because most people are looking at the low-hanging fruit. Most people are trying to please their Twitter feed more than be journalists and just go look at the facts. And so American journalists, we're so addicted to Twitter and yeah. being retweeted and liked and going viral. And so smearing Trump and getting in a feud with Trump is the easiest way. And, and look, Nike does a hell of a job of, of managing its relationship with the American sports media. They do a hell of a job. They're very nice to the American sports media. Look, ESPN, they have a relationship with the NBA. They need it to be very successful. There's no real incentive to go look for the facts. And the facts are so obvious. I'm begging you, people watching at home, your producers, punch it into Google. It's all there. Obama, May 2015. 
at Nike's headquarters. Why do you choose Nike's headquarters yeah. to announce your defense of the TPP? Go look it up where President Trump has been on the TPP. He's the guy against it. No, it all makes sense. It's all obvious. Nike controls the NBA and at the same time speaks for the government of China. An amazing, an amazing story. And I hope our viewers will be checking it out. They probably are even as we're speaking. Jason Whitlock, thank you for that. Thank you, Tucker.